people of the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me today, uh, this past night, this morning, about morning hours, the Lord Almighty Jehovah, he has spoken with me. And uh, in this conversation, the war, there is a war that is about to break out between Israel and uh, Iran. And the Lord Almighty has shown me that war this morning, this night. There's going to be a lot of aircraft. It is shocking, overwhelming number. Overwhelming number of aircraft, overwhelming. Overwhelming, massive raid. A lot of aircraft, overwhelmingly raid, literally raid. Until, I mean, there's just no way to handle this. Massive number of aircraft raid. I don't know when the, how many aircraft, those, whether they're 200 aircraft or 100, I don't know how many. Whether they're 30, but massive number of aircraft raid and overwhelm. There is a serious war that's about to break out in the Middle East involving Israel. And I see a massive, massive, Massive number of aircraft raid, and it's unbelievable. It's dreadful. It is unbelievable. So what is about to happen there is going to shock the earth. And you remember too well in this same prophecy, as I began to give it from the year 2005, September, this prophecy has one point at which the explosion brings up a, one of the biggest fires ever seen on the earth. And that fire is a huge flame that goes east as it goes due west. It goes up also. And there are small, small flames, and that's why I knew that is a nuclear explosion. So there is a serious moment about to fall this earth. A very serious moment is about to be fall this earth. And this is how the conversation began to unfold. In the night today, the Lord Almighty... He took me and made me sit at a computer. And I was sitting there with the children of Jacob, the house of Jacob, the house of Israel. And I was working on some algorithms. I was working on some artificial intelligence on the computer. I was working with converting all those, uh, those programs, what, everything, until now it was utilizable. I was busy working on the computer with a lot of the children of Jacob, the house of Jacob. And then, when finally I cracked it, whereby now I can guide, I can direct, means I, I can direct things using artificial intelligence. Then I came out from my chair, I walked out of my chair, and uh, uh, people were stunned. And then I walked towards the door and turned a little right. And then I met Michael. Standing there. I met Michael, the great prince who protects your people. Michael, the great prince who protects God's people, standing right there. And I was reporting to him. I was aware that I was doing that, and he was supervising everything I'm doing. So I was reporting to him that I've managed it. It's very simple. I've managed it. Come, I'll tell you, come to the computer. Let me, let me show you how I've managed it. I've cracked it now. We can guide missiles. We can guide aircraft using artificial intelligence. Hmm? And I'll stand, as, as he stood there, where my head, my height reaches is where his knees are. That is just how humongous and huge and tall he is. And so I put my hand to hold his hand. He had to bend so that his hand could reach my hand. And then he greeted me physically. Physical greeting. Today, uh, a few hours ago, I greeted Michael, the archangel that stands before the Lord. And then we stood at the door a bit. As I explained to him, I tried to explain to him what I have achieved. He was the one I'm supposed to report to. And then I went with him, and sat, he sat by the computer. Then I showed him how we have cracked it finally. Very, very serious. That means all this is guided by Michael, the great prince who protects God's people. 
And after that is when finally now the aircraft are released in a raid. It is it is going to be the, <laughs> this is going to be shock about the world is sitting on the verge of a major shock, a dreadful shock, a monumental shock that will mark an indelible mark in the history of this earth. It is going to be unbelievable. What is about to happen to the earth, probably in the next few days, is going to be unbelievable. And again, I repeat, it was in the night, and when I tried to fall asleep, immediately I found myself sitting by the computer, and with the children of Israel there, and I was now working on this software using artificial intelligence to be able to guide now the missiles, to guide everything by artificial intelligence and satellite linked, linked by satellite. In fact, this GPS satellites are AI assisted. And I was showing them, I was doing this and solving everything from all those figures. Now it could work. And then on the screen, you could see when now the weapon hits, this is how it will look like. When the aircraft hits, this is how it will look like. I was sitting there in the dream. And we were working together. And then I made a breakthrough. Then I said, now we have succeeded. Finally, we can now guide the aircraft. Then at that time, I stepped out. And when I reached the door and turned right, right there, I met Michael, the great prince who protects your people. Michael, the great prince who protects thy people. The archangel of the Lord. And I knew that I I was supposed to be reporting to him if I've made a breakthrough. And as I was trying to report to him, first of all, where my head reaches, the height, that's where his knees are. That's how gigantic and huge and tall he is. And then he stretched his hand now to greet me. When he, he had to bend low to greet me. And then he walked and stood at the door. And I was telling him that I've made a breakthrough. I finally made a breakthrough. Now we're able to guide all the missiles. We're able to guide everything. And then as I was explaining, then he said, no, let's sit at the computer and see. So we entered and he sat on my right. And I was showing him what I've achieved. And the house of Jacob is there. And then after that, that is when the aircraft raided. Massive number, massive. Massive number. It's unbelievable what is about to happen to the earth. And by voice, the Lord from heaven said, and they sent a massive number of aircraft. And I saw them coming. After that, I saw them leaving. After mission accomplished. Unbelievable. What is about to happen to the earth? Blessed people, something big is about to happen to the earth. The earth is sitting on the verge of a major historic war. It will be a war that when anybody sees, they will fear the Lord. And for the church... Your message is very simple. Your instruction is simple. Prepare for the coming of the Messiah. Don't prepare for this war. Don't wait for this war. Because the Bible says nobody knows the day or the hour when the Messiah comes for the church up in the sky, up above the earth here. Nobody knows the day or the hour. So, for the earth, please, it is going to be unbearable, unbelievable. And you remember, I have seen the flames from that war, the big flame, the big explosion that ignites a big flame. The, what, what, the, 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 the flame goes to the right, to the left, I don't know how far. And goes to the right, I don't know how far. And goes up almost touches heaven. But inside a small, small flame, small, small flame making that huge flame, historic flame, the earth has never seen. Because of the small, small flames is when I knew that this is nuclear material. It is nuclear material that has been blasted, my Lord. The earth is sitting on the verge of a major historic war. And from this war, then it shall be known that the Lord, he is God. And that Israel are his chosen people. And that the Messiah must come back and establish his throne 
on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem and reign there a thousand years. And it shall be known that the Lord he protects his people, God himself. I shook the hands of Michael physically, physical shaking of the hands. Where my head reaches the height is where his knees are. He had to bend to greet me because he wanted to greet me. He had to bend, so we greeted each other. He had to draw his, to, to stoop low to greet me. Then I explained to him, I was supposed to be reporting to him the breakthrough I made, whether everything is ready now uh, to defend the land, to defend the real estate to Shambhala Mungu, the real estate of the Lord. Then I began to report to him that I've, I've achieved it. It's actually very simple and very easy. I've, I've cracked it. I've, then he said, no, let's sit at the computer and see. And then he sat on my right. And then I opened the computer. Very serious. Very, very serious. These are historic days and the Messiah is coming. The message is clean and clear that the Messiah is coming. However, I don't know whether anyone is having a sweet time on this earth. This earth does not look like a place anybody can be having a sweet time on. If you look at the wars, you look at the misery, the quakes, you look at the troubles, everything is totally distorted. There is no value anymore. The kingdom of heaven rubbishes everything that the earth has to present. And so, let everybody disconnect from this earth, receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and be born again. Because the Messiah is coming. Thank you.